I, it's hard to say really. I mean, I suppose when most people think of gaming, they think of men and they think that the majority of the audience is male uh, gamers. But the fact is that women make up nearly 50% of the audience now for video games. So we're here and there's plenty of us. It's not entirely a man's world anymore. I would say that women need to be celebrated more in games, especially the women making the games, writing them, designing them. That definitely needs to be celebrated more. There needs to be more of that. I reckon as the years have gone on, the gaming industry has really, really changed and it's sort of shed light on the fact that females play games as well that anyone plays games regardless of their gender which I think is really really impressive that we're just kind of getting rid of the stereotypical stigma that's kind of printed itself on the gaming industry which has been really like a shame throughout the years but now we're sort of getting rid of that and it's becoming a really enjoyable place to, to be part of. I guess it was like originally definitely a man's world because like um, a lot of women weren't really seen when games started a lot of women weren't in that kind in the computing industry, so it was just mainly men like all the time. And obviously now women want to progress into that kind of industry. I think it's definitely changed. I think it's changed already. I think this year alone and last year there's been a lot of standalone titles that have really strong female lead roles and I think we're definitely moving in the right direction. There's definitely more men that are interested in video games, but I think women are becoming more interested because there's such a range of video games uh, like genres but I also think that it's like there's a genre for everyone now so it's not just women that can get into it it's everyone of different ages even if it's just like you know a mobile game or something like that it, it is changing for the better so that's, that's really good. I think it's definitely changing every day there are new games and a new audience being brought to the gaming world but it's definitely still a man-led industry. I mean in terms of directly not at all but there is a sense of you're a girl, so what are you doing? There is that stigma around it, which you do always have in the back of your mind. I've experienced um, people on like gaming on Instagram who saw that I was LGBT and said that that was wrong and that God will hate me and all that stuff. But yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> um, but then I just brush it off because they're very naive for 2018. I've experienced a lot of sexism, um, more so than probably the average gamer because I'm a Twitch streamer so I put myself on sort of the cutting board. So when you're a Twitch streamer you're obviously exposed to a lot of trolls, a lot of insults, people that just want to generally like ruin your day just for the fun of it. But it does get you down quite a lot but you sort of just need to find a, sort of like a middle ground and find peace to it because I found that if you ignore the trolls and don't feed them they sort of just starve the intention and eventually go away. I absolutely love to play Blizzard's World of Warcraft, uh, which is one of the biggest MMORPGs ever. I am obsessed, I love it. But also more recently Overwatch as well, um, again a massive Blizzard game. I've recently got into Overwatch, which is one of the games that's definitely creating a lot more open space for both female and male players. I used to absolutely adore Mario Kart on the Wii, that was like my favourite for ages. More recently was Destiny. A lot of Zelda, a lot of Monster Hunter, which has recently come out on the Switch. Jack and Daxter for PlayStation 2 is my favourite game ever. Pokemon is definitely my favourite. I love an old game called Mirror's Edge. Um, the protagonist is a representation of a minority. Um, she's an Asian background. Her name is Faith. But she's not only physically strong, she's also mentally strong as well and relies on absolutely nobody. Well, for me, it's, it's Bioware, which is a studio that made Dragon Age and made Mass Effect. Um, mainly because I suppose they're, they're fantasy and sci-fi, maybe that's part of the freedom that comes with those games. Um, but they've always been very good at listening to their audience, listening to their fans. I'm going to comment on Overwatch again. Um, it's definitely created such a good platform for all types of gamers. It's definitely introduced a lot more to gaming. And I think that's because of their diverse characters, not even just females, but they have robots and hamsters. It's crazy. But um, it's definitely a game that's definitely doing it well. Life is Strange, which is, you know, choose your own path sort of thing. And obviously that sort of genre has developed over the years. I think they've had to, yeah. I think it's definitely something that's had to come with the territory. Um, you know, in terms of everything evolving, in terms of um, people and their pronouns and not using labels anymore and all the rest of it, I do think they've definitely changed. It's, it's big difference now from when I started playing when I was only about 10 you know and back then it was weird to be a female gamer and now I'm here with so many of them and we're everywhere and it's so much nice to be in a celebrated community and with people that just you know, hey you're just a gamer it doesn't matter if you're a woman you know so that's been really nice as well. Because of the whole movement of like women's uh, like feminism and stuff they're like recognizing what needs to be changed in their games so then 
they change it to be a bit more like representational of who's over what a real woman is rather than what men fantasize about. <laughs> I think we've come really far. I think there's a lot of there's a lot more interaction because of online. So there's Twitch, so everything's a lot more community based. You can talk live to people, there's cosplay, you know, there's live shows, there's esports. I think we've come a really long way and the community is really great at the moment.